Good evening. You can hear me. You can see me. Can you see? Well, this is my new video. I've got a new location at my new place here in Columbus, Ohio. I've been here for uh, like a week now. It's nice and it's quiet here. It's uh, had one little incident though. I had an old bike and I had it parked right here. Unfortunately, somebody came by and snatched it, but it was because it wasn't chained up. But it, it was believed to be one of the homeless person that could be that took the bike, or whatever. So I don't know. So anyway, but other than that, uh, it's nice. It's small. Uh, it's not bad. It's not a bad little place. It's quiet. I don't take these utilities here. A lot peaceful. You don't have to have no parking permit. Thank God. Like I had to deal with the other place. What else I can tell you about this place? Uh, it's kind of like secluded in an area where it's near woods. It's you know, off over in the distance, there's a school. Um, there's a bowling alley not too far from here. Uh, it's pretty nice. And this, I saw, I saw a whole lot of difference. I'm not edgy. When I was at my other place up north, uh, it was like, it was just, you're always on edge. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if your car going to get scratched scratch or your car going to get break into. The office might say that you don't have a sticker on your car or or things like that. Um, that's what I like about it. Um, here you, you don't have to counter with that. As long as you don't have a broken down car and it's up on, you know, you leave it up over extended time with a flat tire, they won't say nothing. And that was in the lease too. Uh, basically, you can't really work on your car out here because of it'll, like most apartment complexes, you'll leave grease and stuff like that, gasoline, and that can eat up the payment. So they they permit they don't allow you to work on your car, but you can like jump your car, change a flat tire, but nothing like mechanical. Uh, what else I could tell you about it? It's quiet, less traffic, traffic. The residential neighborhood, there's a, like a little bar in the distance over nearby, but I don't drink, so I have to worry about that. What else I can tell you about? Oh, hold on, one, one minute. I have to see how, I have to see this camera, because sometimes these cameras are cut off short. Okay. I have to use Teddy, my teddy bear, as a prop. <laughs> and so these things are coming good for. I use them as I use them as a prop. Uh, I don't know if you can see this or not. But it's not a it's not a bad area. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Might have to raise it up a little bit. That sometimes I don't know this camera. I'm kind of like operating the camera by myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, to get back to what I'm saying, it's, it's a nice little place, and this, I made a video this year about if you can find a place that, that takes Section 8, you want to get some place like this, where it's like you don't have many neighbors and less congestion, and you have more peace. Sometimes, th these places are very out in the, out in the, like in the, out of the city, like sometimes in another suburb. Sometimes they're in, you know, in the city, but on the outskirts of the city, but not too far from the city. And that's the case with this, with this complex. 
it, it was easy to maneuver the furniture. All I had to do was have a dolly. I did most of the moving myself. All I had to do was just take a dolly and just roll right on and have to deal with no steps. Uh, it was real simple. I met in the van and I pretty much did it myself. I couldn't find no one to really help me because it was during the weekday and everybody and, and one, of my, one of my closest Pete's friends he works during the week so I couldn't really ask him to do it. Another thing about you hear some over the distance that's some people out there I don't know if it's a camp or something over there in the distance. There's a homeless camp back there somewhere. But uh, they don't, the homeless people, they don't bother you. They just do their own thing. Everybody, you, you, you know, just like any other place out there, you have some people that got addictions, alcohol addictions, drug addictions. But, you know, from what I, from what I was told from a neighbor that's been out here, he said that they don't normally, they're not the type of like be breaking in your house, breaking your car or whatever. You know, I guess they keep their addiction <laughs> under a certain level. Because this, this is a pretty de decent place. To be in Columbus, be out on the outskirts of Columbus. Uh, what else I can tell you about? Uh, it's been like a, a sign of relief, man. Oh, it's just been a stressful week, man. My last at my last place, I got my car scratched. You know, people you know took a, a I don't know a key or something and scraped my window, and you got some people that. Broke, someone broke in my car thinking I had some in, in the car. It's an old car. I got like a 2000 Honda. And it's like got rusted. It's kind of rusted. It's kind of, it's holding up. But you know how the, they, they run forever, but they, but, they, but it's, there's nothing to really take. So they broke in my car up there. When I was up there, you have neighbors around you. They just, they don't have no consideration whatsoever. I mean, people are just up on you. You know, between the neighbors or the, the the management, you know, you just it's just hectic. And so this other place where I'm playing at right now, it just um, it's something like um, the Metropolitan Housing, like here in Columbus. It's like another agency, and they have properties all over the Columbus area. It's called Community Housing Network. If you can. Um, type it on your line. If you come into the city, those of you who have limited income, they, they you, you have to be put on a list. And and trust me, after, I've been on this list for like five years. And my neighbor was on it for five years too. So if you want more information, call Community Housing Columbus, Ohio. That's if you come in here. The main, the, the main headquarter is on water, Watermark Drive in Columbus. Those of you, if, if you plan on moving, if you don't have a limited income or resource, if you receive disability or you have some low wage job or something like that, and you look like a little family or something, they, or elderly person, or older person who have like addictions, alcohol, you know, emotional, some things like that, they have different programs for you to get housing and things like that. Because Columbus Metropolitan Housing. It's like right now, it's, it's still a long list. And I'm on that list until like next year, till like August 2020. So this thing came up before that. So it, so either way, if you want if you want to move to here, these are the two agencies, not, not just one. But I know it's two agencies. It's two agencies that operate here for people. Because sometimes your income may not be the amount that can get you an apartment. Because in Columbus, you got to at least make about fifteen to eighteen hundred dollars, oh, like uh, I think in a month or something like that, a week or something. I, I forgot. It, it's it's you, you, it, every it, they they have to show that you can pay rent, and the rent skyrocket here. I um, mean, it, it's getting up to like those bigger cities that you see. It's in some areas it's like seven, eight hundred, nine hundred. It's going up, and every year it, it goes up and up. That's the, the, and it depends on the area where you're at. It it could be the market rent. So you don't know. Once you factor the market rent, then you gotta look at the utilities. You might be paying 
in some area. If it's a dump, it might be five, six hundred dollars, and that could be a dump. Uh, and it could be in a not so nice area where you have a lot of, you know, you have a lot of elements, bad elements and stuff. So, but that's one of the things I wanted to advise you on. If you do decide to come here or you ro relocate to Ohio, it's going to be a long waiting list in the meantime. Um, it's just because of, I, I believe because of the legal immigration, you have a lot of people come across, the, you know, like they want to open up the borders for illegal immigration, so that's why Ben Carson had, and people like that had to crack down because those people get housing, and and the people looking for good housing who've been waiting for five, ten years, they can't get no housing, but they want to open up the borders. And a lot of people wondering in their city why they're not getting no housing is because you have people who are, who are legal to make illegal who they put, they bring into the country. What it is is that they, they sponsor people in, in the country. They come from all over the country, all over the world, and they bring them and they set them up with different programs. So it's something with the government helps them lean on in it. And I believe that's why some people, it takes longer for some people to get on the waiting list. So that's what you're looking at. So my, my advice to you is, uh, Try to you, you decide to come to a city like Columbus, Ohio. Is basically get on it before you, you get here. Get on the list. You know, get immediately. Ch check your local list in the, the state, whatever state you get in. Is get on that list list because they. So when they call you, because they about to, they, they they talk about maybe closing up by hopefully within a year or so. Hopefully, so you have to probably get it on that list. So hopefully. Whoever gets here this video that you take the advice and you relocate to Ohio, that's what's going on to them in this city. And I'm pretty sure it's like in the other major cities in Ohio. I don't know how it's like in your state or your city, but that's how it is right here in Ohio. But, um, yeah, it's, it, took, it took five years to get this. Five years. And it's, it's small, it's nice for just one person. You know, it's, they pretty much built the same way. They're, they're, they're like side by side, two and two. And it's like, where I'm at, it's like, I'm, 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 basically, you know how condos is? It's shaped like a condo, like, if you those who stay in condos, that's what it is. So, that's my advice is that, uh, um, there's a resident manager here. She's in the background um, that that look over the property. Then you have a, a man that's over the whole thing, and it's cool. It's it's very quiet. There ain't a lot of noise. There ain't a lot of drama. They they clean up that up. Up north, it's totally different. Too. You know, you just don't know. You had to have patrol there. Um, I have, you know, been just going, I had a secondary vehicle, someone called the police on me, going to my own vehicle, uh, I had, I had a bike, my bike that was stolen here, I had it up there, and some, I don't know, it was a kid or somebody, bent my tire, so they bent my tire, and it was just one thing after another thing, that's why I, I advise people, don't stay around. If you're a person, a single adult with a child, and you're peaceful, you're not into that drama and that conflict, and you don't, you're into that craziness. Uh, don't don't stay around a, a whole bunch of people because they don't respect you. And no matter what the racial demographic is, whether it's black people or white people, because some white people can just be just as violent as some black people or other people. It don't it don't matter. You put people, a whole bunch of people, someone gonna collide. It don't matter what nationality of people. I've heard people say that. You know, but I don't care if it's Hispanic or black or white. People, you get some good element, you get some bad element. And that's the truth. I you know that's what I learned. So
That's what I want to say. One. Yeah. But I'm not going to make this video too long, but I just wanted to re reinvent it. I wanted to kind of make some good points about getting housing here and what my experiences have been. And I'm the kind of person, I don't hang out with the bad crowd. I don't, I don't do drugs. I don't smoke weed. I don't barely have a beer. Uh, don't, I ain't on no illicit drugs. Don't got no crazy baby mamas and girlfriends throwing glass things through the wall. And I don't care, I don't be around that kind of element of people. But when you feel like when you live in some kind of housing, you deal with that kind of element of people. And I mean, it's nuts. <laughs> it got so bad to the point, I was looking at some people on YouTube. I mean, I was so depressed, man, that I would think about going living in, if I could buy, buy a, a freaking van and go live out in, in the woods somewhere, it got to that point. Because people, living around a lot of people can get on your nerves. Way too many people. When you have people that just bring people who are in, who are thieves, who are robbers, who are on drugs, and they breaking in, in people's apartments and homes. And